Greetings film fans, John Campy here. I'm the senior editor of AMC Movie News. You know, as a film fan, it's always extremely satisfying when you go to see a movie that you have high hopes for and you come out satisfied. It's a great feeling. But an even better feeling is as a film fan when you go in to see a movie that you're not really expecting much of and you have your socks blown off and you absolutely loved it. Those pleasant surprises make being a film fan really wonderful. And one such film, a film just like that, is opening up this Friday in AMC theaters everywhere. And that film is Disney's John Carter. Now look, I'll admit that probably like my, most of you, the marketing for this film had not really done a lot to get my expectations very high. To be frank, the marketing was a little bit confusing. I didn't really get an idea for what the film was at, and as a result, I wasn't really looking forward to seeing the movie all that much. But go to see the movie I did a couple of weeks ago, and let me tell you, I absolutely loved John Carter. And as a matter of fact, right now today, I want to give you five reasons why you must go to see John Carter. Reason number one is it's great science fiction. Now look, I know these days anything with lasers, special effects, and robots and monsters, we just call that sci-fi. And that's fine. It's really what it is. But there's something about going to see a movie that is true science fiction. A movie that gives you that sense of awe and wonder when you're watching it. Something that has the extraordinary happening within the ordinary context of our daily lives. When you have movies like that, like the old serial sci-fis of the past, that really capture your imagination and feels like it takes you to another place. To me, I call that, and maybe it's just my own personal definition, but I call that true science fiction. And John Carter is true science fiction. I think it's one of the, 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 the most recent, maybe the only true sci-fi film I've seen in a very long time. And for that reason, I think you absolutely must see this film. Another reason, and uh, you know this by no less important, that I think you absolutely must go to see John Carter is Andrew Stanton. Now, you might be asking yourself, who is Andrew Stanton, that guy sitting there holding the Oscar? Well, Andrew Stanton is a guy who's from Pixar. As a matter of fact, he is one of the key writers for all the Toy Story films. He was the director of Finding Nemo and WALL-E. And the reason you see him holding that Academy Award is because Andrew Stanton has won two Oscars, one for Best Animated Picture for WALL-E, uh, back in 2008, and one for Best Animated Picture for Finding Nemo, but he's also been nominated for two other Oscars, one for one for screenplay for writing the original Toy Story and uh, back in 1995, and in 2010 for Best Screenplay for Toy Story 3. Andrew Stanton is a wonderful, masterful storyteller. He knows how to lay out a narrative. He knows how to develop characters. If you, When you watch an Andrew Stanton film, you're not just watching the awe and spectacle, you're also seeing really good dialogue. You're seeing really good narrative. You're seeing really good character development. And Andrew Stanton, I'm very happy to say, brings that with him into John Carter as his first live action feature film. So the first reason you must see John Carter is that it's great science fiction. Number two, Andrew Stanton. Number three is the story of the Princess of Mars. Now, Princess of Mars is what John Carter is based off of. It's a novel written by Edgar Rice Burroughs, who's also the guy who wrote Tarzan. This book is nearly 100 years old. And one of the things that I love about this story is as a film fan, I absolutely love it when I get to sit down and show friends of mine The Godfather for the very first time when they haven't seen it. Because as they're watching The Godfather, you see how they start to recognize how The Godfather has influenced decades of films that have come after it. They're watching The Godfather and suddenly they see how this movie borrowed from it and how that movie borrowed from it and how that other movie borrowed from it. You really get a sense of how influential The Godfather was when somebody watches it for the first time. Well, I had the same kind of experience when watching John Carter. I didn't know much about the story of Princess of Mars. I knew about it. I knew a little bit about the story about it, but I really didn't know much about it other than that I've never read the book. But as I'm sitting there and watching John Carter, I'm realizing decades of science fiction have borrowed from Princess of Mars, have borrowed from John Carter. And you start to realize how influential the story this really was on all the science fiction that's happened in the last hundred years. It's a really neat feeling as a film fan. And that's the number three reason why I think you absolutely must watch John Carter. My number four reason Taylor Kitsch. Now look, some of you may know Taylor from the, the TV series, the very popular TV series, Friday Night Lights. He's gotten a lot of acclaim for it, and I have to admit to you, 
I've never watched the show myself, so I don't really have that that context to work off of. The only thing I've ever known Taylor from really is playing Gambit in the Wolverine film, and that's about it. What a pleasant surprise. Now, I will say, I found Taylor to maybe be a little bit young looking for the role of John Carter, but that gets shoved aside really quick. He owns this character. He plays it so well. And the temperature that he brings to his character is absolutely perfect for the setting that he's in. He brings a lot to John Carter. So that's my number four reason. My number five reason you must watch, you must go see John Carter this weekend. Lynn Collins, who plays Princess uh, Deja, she is wonderful in this film. She is the damsel in distress, but at the same time, a strong, powerful, brave heroine. And I'm telling you that the costumes in this film that they do, if this film is popular enough, Lynn Collins and her character Deja will be the new Princess Leia in the slave outfit kind of thing. And it's, it's hard to explain what I mean by that, but if you watch the film, you'll completely see what I mean. So to run down again, the five reasons you must Go to see John Carter this weekend. Number one, it's terrific sci-fi. Number two, a master storyteller in Andrew Stanton at the helm. Number three, you get to see the influence that this story has had on science fiction for the past hundred years. Number four, Taylor Kitsch is John Carter's fantastic. Number five, Lynn Collins is the new Princess Leia as far as I'm concerned. So for that reason and others, I think you absolutely must go to watch John Carter this weekend. Listen, don't forget folks that you can follow us every day. Get movie times, your show tickets, your theater locations, everything at amctheaters.com. Also, don't forget to like us on Facebook at AMC Theaters, follow us on Twitter at AMC Movie News, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That'll do it for me. Thanks a lot for joining me, and until next time, bye-bye.